Hey guys, Russo. How are you tonight? It's Monday night. I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a great weekend. I just figured I'd come at you with this short video here. I'm not showing you no cards. You know, when you see this beautiful face, there's a reason. It's either a conversation or a contest or what have you. Well, look, uh, no contest tonight. I'm not giving away anything. I just thought I'd get close that freaking mouth, Ricky. I told you something might fly inside of it. Hey. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, I, I went to the Belmont Stakes on Saturday. Uh, I couldn't believe how crowded it was, considering there was no possibility for a uh, Triple Crown winner this year. Uh, again, the place was packed. Uh, I went with about 10, 12 members of my crew. We all had the wives with us, or the girlfriends, or what have you. And what we usually do is we let the wives go into the clubhouse and they drink their mint juleps and whatever and they partake in hors d'oeuvres and all that horse shit. Well, me and the guys, you know, we go around by the gate and, you know, we, uh, we get involved and, you know, we have our shared drinks. But I tell you, if anybody in my crew ever ordered a freaking mint julep, I'd kick him in the nuts so hard they'd have fucking double Adam's apples. I can tell you that right now. But anyway, so the horse that I wanted didn't win. So if you listen to me and bet the house, you're now homeless. Uh, I didn't bet the house, but I bet the uh, the outhouse, uh, so I still got a roof over my head. Anyways, uh, I never saw so many women wearing these freaking hats like they do at the Kentucky Derby. Uh, I, I just was amazed to see the amount of, uh, uh, you know, hats that would knock your freaking socks off. There was these women, I don't know if it's the latest style, but it was a hat off to the side. And up, up, right up in the middle, there was this big, like, it looked like a freaking dildo. I and mean, I, I couldn't put it in any other words. It was just a frilly hat with this big, like, phallic symbol sticking up from the top. And, uh, you know, the guys and me, we had a laugh because we said, well, look, at least you could use it for something else after she takes it off her head after these freaking races. No. Uh... You know, I always thought that maybe one day we'd go down to see the Kentucky Derby. But you know, I'm a little scared because you know how it would be if, uh, you know, 12 or so of us guys here from New York and Howard Beach. And, you know, I happen to live in Bayside. If we went down there to Kentucky, you know, uh, that's the South. Technically, I understand that they still think they didn't lose the freaking Civil War. So imagine the reception that we get when we opened our mountain. They heard people talking like uh, us uh, there in, in Kentucky, Lexington. Uh, now, you guys might think it'd be funny that I talk this way. But I've talked this way since I was born. Yeah, since like, I don't know, six months a year. This is how I sound on a more regular basis. And uh, I tell you, all my crew, uh, and maybe even some of the wives, we all talk the same. So to us, that's all we hear all freaking day. The only guy that talks funny, as far as I'm concerned, is the guy that I work, work with, the Chinese guy. He calls me Wiki Wuso. Wiki Wuso. He's still to this freaking day. He calls me Wiki Wuso. I tell him, Wiki Wuso. He tells me that's what I'm saying, Wiki Wuso. So I give up already, you know? But look, sometimes he brings me some Chinese food from his wife. He makes the thing, she makes the best fried rice I ever eaten. Uh... So that's my little story about the weekend, but still, it was a beautiful weekend. I enjoyed myself. I didn't win no money. I left a few dollars at the gate. What can I tell you? Uh, next, tomorrow, Tuesday, I go for my pre-op uh, clearance for my eye. Remember, I told you I can't see nothing out of my right eye. Uh, so I go for the operation on the 28th of June. So I go for the pre-op tomorrow. And... Uh, and I go on to see this doctor, she's a Chinese lady, and uh, my wife knows it, because my wife looks at the hospital, she says she's excellent, she's very good, and I says, uh, honey, uh, she's not going to grab my nuts and tell me to cough tomorrow, she says, no, Ricky, you're just going for your eye, they're doing a little exams and take your whatever, and all that, I says, yeah, that's what you say, but every doctor I go to, they grab my nuts, and they tell me to cough, well, look, uh, you know, I, I'm a little uncomfortable doing that considering, but, uh, you know, that my wife assures me that I shouldn't have to worry about that for the time being. That'll come another time, she says. Uh, again, 
guys remember I told you this before uh, the videos that you're seeing for the most part are videos that I've already done breaks that I've already done and uploaded I checked I, did, I posted an, a few new ones in the past few days because I did buy a little wax I wasn't gonna but I did so I think I got like what maybe a maybe 90 to 100 videos now posted so it roughly like I've said two a day well that's how long he's gonna have me but then I'm gone guys I mean I've told you I'm not kidding you I really hit the wall I don't I'm not happy with the amount of uh, views and the comments and that's okay because I notice it's the same way in everybody else's look I don't comment on everybody's videos myself uh, I try but you know like I say I, I can't do everything make the videos and, and comment and watch and so forth and so on uh, and again, I got all these subscribers that have never even left one comment. I mean, you know, they're viewers, but they're not participators. You know, I noticed there's a big drop in the amount of videos being made by the old timers here, too, for whatever reason. Uh, you know, oh, and I want to mention, Chad, uh, you told me you were in the hospital for your back or your surgery. I hope you're doing well if you're watching this video. Uh, I, w I wish you the best, but uh, remember from now on, because, you know, the back's a pretty scary thing when it starts to have it given problems. From now on, Chad, remember, your wife's got to get on top. You can't be pushing a pump in no more, baby. You just got to be a recipient. So get on, flat on your ass, and tell her to come on board and ride the wild pony. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, look, I, I do wish you the best. I wish a lot of the guys here the best that I haven't heard of, heard from in about six months, eight months, or whatever. You know, I remember when I first started, there was guys that commented and did videos. Mike Gatman, uh, Mikey Mo, where's Mikey Mo, uh, the Ditka Collector. You know, it's like a cycle. You know, then there's guys that you don't hear from, then all of a sudden they come back, like Dookie, Dookie Rios. I mean, he comes back for, for a month or so, then he's gone for six, eight months, and then he comes back, and then he's gone. You know, all nice guys, but I just wonder, look, hey, I always say, if I can make the time, so you can make the time. You could, you, you know, you, you could just come on and say, hey, uh, I, I'm just coming and say hello. I just want you to see my face uh, when I get something that's interesting to make a video about. I will, but I'm here. I'm alive. God bless you. And this way we don't. And as far as the comment, I don't give a shit what you put on my videos. You know, you could tell me, Ricky, stick it up your ass. And that's something, because at least I know you're alive and you're watching. You're watching. So I don't know how many uh, minutes is this video, guys, seven freaking minutes, you know, my five minute rule. So again, it was just a little conversation for a Monday night. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, so you take care. Wish me luck tomorrow at the doctors. And uh, que sera, sera. All right, ciao. Bye-bye.